I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. Okay, talk to Gwen, see what she knows about Maya. And while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. Is that... Sophie's book? Hey, Gwen. Max. No conversations for you to conveniently overhear this time. Sorry to disappoint. Actually, I need to talk to you about Sophie. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal cancelled. Shit. What I don't understand is why. You really have a knack for learning shit you're not supposed to know, you know that? So I've been told. <laughs> well then. No use fighting the inevitable. What do you want to know? That book meant the world to Safi. You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. This keeps getting weirder and weirder. Let me get this straight. You helped Sophie get the deal, and then you killed it? If it had to be done, it made sense for me to do it. You know, I brought you into this world, etc. So what did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. Safi's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? You really don't have an off switch, do you? How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? Gwen's bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention. Not a lot. I know they were friends. <laughs> Understatement of the year. The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that... Ben Lang kid. He used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. But then... Maya took her own life. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately... I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. I made a call. I don't know if it was the right one, but... It's the one I made. Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. One last thing. Is that... Safi's manuscript? Oh, part of it, why? Can I read it? 
No. That's where I draw the line. I don't trust you not to dig up old graves. Jesus. I've spilled too much already. Let's call this conversation over. Huh? Shit. Now I'm even more convinced there's something important in that manuscript. How do I get my hands on a copy? Gotcha. Reading Safi's manuscript after all this feels like, I don't know, being hit by a tidal wave. Whatever happened with Maya was explosive. Let's see what Yasmin has to say about her. Would you mind closing it behind you, Max? Yasmin liked to get coffee here in the afternoon, before Safi died. Yasmin's gotta be around here somewhere. Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. Hi, Yasmin. Maxine. How are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. I'm gonna... Try not to think about that too hard. <laughs> I was hoping we could talk. Come, sit. Have you seen Sophie today? No. We're meeting later this afternoon. I can tell her you were looking for her. I heard about what happened to Dr. Hunter. Yes. Would you really fire her? That depends on the findings of the committee. It's out of my hands now. You look like you've won the day. Coffee's that good? <laughs> Our ratings are. Kaladin is once again one of the top universities in the country. The coffee is just... So, so. <laughs> Did Sophie tell you her book deal was cancelled? What? No. How... How, uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but I bet she was devastated. 
Oh, Safia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. A horrible tragedy. I think... I think Safi's book was cancelled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Safia didn't even know Maya. Did Yasmin just lie to me? Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can cut straight to the point. Or should I go along with it and see what narrative she's trying to spin? Everyone I've talked to says Safi and Maya were joined at the hip. You had to have known that. Are you implying I'm lying? I'm not implying anything, but I've seen Safi's manuscript. It's explicitly about what happened to Maya. Oh, so you're an expert now on Safia's past. Never mind the, the context, the circumstance. <sighs> Safia had nothing to do with what happened to Maya Okada. Whatever else may be true, that is the bottom line. <sighs> what happened was messy and painful. You're Safia's friend. Surely you understand the need to protect her from rumors and gossip. Safi's resilient. Shouldn't she decide if she wants protection? Safi is my child. Whether she wants my protection or not, she will have it. Frankly, it shocks me you don't realize this. Vin understood immediately. What does Vin have to do with this? Obviously, you won't stop digging. So go ask him yourself. Wow, I guess I should talk to Vin. He's probably in the admin building. Hey, sport! We're just gonna walk past me without saying hello? Oh, what a terrible mistake. Whatever shall I do? I'm hurt, but I'm sure you can make it up to me. I'll think of something. <laughs> anyway, hi Amanda. What are you doing on campus? Just... going on a coffee run? But your coffee's better at the turtle. This one tastes like ass. Enough about me. What are you doing here? I work here. No, no. I mean... I just saw you talking to President Fayad. What were you talking about? I was asking her about Safi and her relationship with a student named Maya Okada. Oh. Why? It's kind of a long story, but it's for something important. This guy's always falling for you, isn't it? <laughs> you have no idea. Well, I'll leave you to your something important. <laughs> See you around, tiger. See you, Amanda. He's probably in the admin building.
Hey, Vin. Um, y- Yasmin's out right now. Sorry to disappoint. Unless you're here for me. In which case, I'll do my best to be of service. Do you talk like this to everyone who comes near Yasmin's office? <laughs> I've never met a pissed off board member I can't defang with a little eyebrow action. How long have you worked in the president's office? Right after graduation. The summer stock festivals wept because they couldn't have me. But Kahuna needed me right away. I thought you might have worked here when you were still a student. (laughs) You know, back when Maya Okada went here. Wow. You know Maya's name. Am I supposed to collapse under the weight of that revelation? You're supposed to talk to me like a human being about what happened with her. What do you need me for, super sleuth? You're obviously capable of digging up ancient gossip on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, Gwen's hearing completely scrambled Kahuna's schedule. No casual chats about Maya. Noted. Maybe other Vin will spill. No way around it. I gotta... The hedgehog, distant relative of the shrew, enjoys its rest after a full day's work. How nice of you to finally return my phone calls, Desmond. I wanted to talk to you about Abraxas and who should be leading it. Waiting until I'm down to try to kick me out, huh? I thought you were smarter than that. <laughs> Don't mind us, Max. We were just finishing up. Vin, Abraxas needs new blood. You mean you need another line on your resume? Hold up. Can we talk? I just want to ask you about Maya. Please. I can't handle the both of you. Trying to exploit my weak spots. Did I just witness a failed crown snatching? You gotta seize the opportunities when you can. And hey, it almost worked. Speaking of which, what's the deal with Maya? Isn't she the undergrad who died a while ago? That's her? Why, do you know anything? Just that Vin looks like he bit into a lemon anytime someone says her name. So Maya makes Vin uncomfortable, huh? Let's find out why. There's gonna be a debate at the beginning of next semester. A special little pissing match for Vin and me. Vin usually runs for Abraxas president unopposed. But if I had the right piece of dirt, I bet I could make him step down. If I give her something juicy and then go to the other timeline, maybe I can listen in on Diamond confronting Vin? Vin gave a statement where he said Maya had mental health problems, which may have been true, but I think there's more. What I'm saying is, someone let Maya down really badly. I don't get it. Were Maya and Vin friends or something? I'm not sure, but they definitely knew each other. And Vin gave a statement about her death. What a pompous little piece of shit. Just try not to go too hard on him, okay? He's not in the greatest place. Relax. I'm not Loretta. Can you do me a favor? Wait until I get out of here to bring this up with him. You got it. I won't jeopardize your getaway. 
This Vin's not going to tell me anything. Maybe the other one has looser lips. If I'm going to listen in on this conversation, I need to cross to the other side. Vin met Maya in Lucas's class, and he also knows something about the cow skull through Sophie's windshield, which conveniently made Lucas look guilty. If I can pressure the other Vin, maybe he'll tell me what the hell is going on here. I know, I know you're busy. Give me just a minute of your time. This better be worth it. Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death? Didn't your parents ever teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? There is a reason. I promise. Please. Enlighten me. I need to understand something that I did. That I... don't remember doing. You know that sounds clinically insane, right? I extremely do. Thank you. You said in your statement that Maya was troubled. But... That wasn't true, was it? Finn, what really happened? Ask Lucas Colmanero. It all started in his class. He has Maya's blood on his hands. 
You're not saying Lucas killed her? Not literally, but... The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. Like, for example, if Sophie suspected him of tossing a cow skull through her windshield? <laughs> no more free secrets. I have a reputation to protect. I guess I could reveal one of the other secrets I know. What if I told you that Lucas filed a restraining order against Safi? Well, I say that Lucas is less dumb than I thought. So, was that a shiny enough info nugget or not? Very shiny. All right. So, was the cow skull you or not? <sighs> yes. So, why? I mean... You've seen a pissed off Safi before. She's like a force of nature. When I heard her book got squashed, I seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. So you were what? Protecting Gwen? That's as much as you get. And now I really do have to get back to work. But, Caulfield, whatever the real reason is for you digging up old history... Be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. You're kidding. How much? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> ha ha. Compare us all you want. Only one Colmenero has a movie deal, and it's not Roberto. Samuel, I'm sorry. Can you... Please hold. Absolutely not. Out of my office, now. But I... I just shipped my son out of the country because of your little stunt. You think we're just going to go back to being friends? I want to talk to you about Maya Okada. Whatever you think, you know, you'll never be able to prove it. Now get out! What the fuck was that? I can't prove anything? Whatever happened to Maya, Lucas was definitely involved. No, I'm not going near that man again. Not alone, anyway. And then she didn't. Dang, Safi must be a grading machine. Alright, let's see what I can find about Maya. Looks like a fun read. I didn't know Lucas did fun. That's probably his ex-wife. They look really happy here.
What a strange place to find a key. Must be significant. I know Lucas has something in here linking him to Maya. Hmm. Seems like at least one student remembers Lucas fondly. World's okayest dad. Might be the first time Lucas didn't oversell himself. Guess normal drip just doesn't cut it for Professor Colmanero. Doesn't fit. How'd they get in here? Jesus, some of these items are priceless. I've got a lot on my plate. I don't need this. That's not what I was expecting. Wait, a million miles beneath my feet? I know this. Maya wrote this. Come on, there's gotta be a copy in here. Maybe ten of them. Holy shit, it's the same. Vin was right. Lucas does have blood on his hands. This is what I've been missing this entire time. I have to talk to Safi. Safi, hey. Stay strong, Habibdi. You know where to find me. Is something wrong? Oh. You want to talk to me now? I've got nothing to say to you. Sophie, I... What? Did you spread my business to someone else? Dig up a couple more clues? Shit. She knows I've been asking questions. I'm not sure who you've been talking to, but I have a good reason. Oh, you have a good reason. Well, in that case, what's your good reason, Max? I'm worried about you. I think there might be someone that means you harm. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I don't have the energy for this. I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while. <laughs> 